day today. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to find new coins and use block explorers to look at addresses and holders of tokens. You might ask, what am I looking at right now? So there's a tool on every blockchain called the Explorer tool. And for Ethereum, it's called Etherscan. So on this Etherscan, you can basically view the blockchain. Everything on the blockchain is public. And on Etherscan, you can plug in an address or a transaction hash, and you can see what happened or what transfers are going on too. Going over Etherscan briefly. So uh, this is all for Ethereum. You can view all the transactions, pending transactions, contracts, blocks. I don't think view blocks matters much and I don't really think that this much matters unless you're a miner. Um, you could see type accounts, see what's going on. Um, you could see like the top 100. Some big, big, big wallets up there. You could see, like I showed you guys before, we could see some tokens. You could see the transfers. Uh, you can see ER721 transfers, ER115, and transfers. Um, we have some charts and stats right here that you can look at, which is really cool. Like daily active Ethereum addresses, which is pretty cool right before the merge. Top statistics, some pretty cool stuff. Ethereum directory, and then you have more. This is kind of a basic video on how you can use Etherscan to track wallets, view holders, and view holders' wallets to see what they're buying. And you can do that on different chains, such as Avalanche, which we go over later in the video. And for all the meme coin DGENs, we go over how to do it on the Doge chain. So now let's get into how to track wallets via Etherscan. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to track somebody's address via Etherscan. Uh, we're going to use my address for example. One of my addresses for example. Okay, so first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put your address or whatever address into the Ethereum Block Explorer. And yes, you need to know what address you're looking for in order to use that. In order to look for addresses, we go further into the video to look at holders and how to utilize that. But for example, um, we have one of my burner accounts and you can see my address and under that address is every transaction possible. So in, in my transactions, right, you're able to track transactions. If I interact with other wallets, I don't really interact with other wallets. Like, for example, like I have an LLC crypto wallet. Please don't send me Tornado Cash Ethereum to my Ethereum address. I am begging you. But for example, let's say I wanted to track the transactions for OX50. I would put my address into the search. I would go to the transactions and I would go look at other transactions that are suspect or looking at what I'm, my goal is. There's a various goals for looking at different addresses could be finding tokens, hunting down stolen crypto. You could be keeping an eye on it. They could be making good trades. But that is a very basic version of how to use Etherscan on how to track a tr an address. You and now I'm going to show you about holders and how to access holders and how to do this on different chains. So with Etherscan, we can check out top holders of tokens by utilizing whatever token you want to use you can see a holder so for example if we click on top tokens to find a whale we would click on that project and go down to holders and we can see exactly how much each address and what percent they're holding you can go all the way down or on the contrary, using the search bar at the top right there, you can paste an address in and search any address you want, and, and that address you know to see if it interacted with that contract and to see how many tokens that contract holds. You can also do that by plugging the address into the top right by search address in and seeing what holder it is. Later in this video, we go over how to find and utilize addresses to your advantage and get in early in coins today we're going to be talking about dog coins because it's a good example but in reality this can be 
used for address tracking and many more purposes. How to view a token holder via Snowtrace is by picking a token, for example, 100 Days Ventures, and copying the contract address, and then going to the Avalanche Explorer, otherwise known as Snowtrace, and plugging that token address in, pulling it up, and then we're going to paste my address in there to see exactly how many tokens I have. And you're going to want to go to the token tracker and you can see by holders and you can try to see if you know the address you could see what they're how much they're exactly holding because now that you've seen the projects that they hold now you can paste that address into here and find exactly how you want to do that you can scroll down and do it or you can copy an address like mine and you can click in the search tab in the search tab and you can see how much they hold and if that's a lot and you know if that matters to you that you can see how much they hold or whatnot you can see that any specific address that you know belongs to somebody you can see how much they exactly own in that project by pasting their address into the token tracker and finding that address. So I hope this benefited anyone who needs to use this tool or is looking for anything. And next part of the video we're going to be going over how to use Doge Explorer to find new coins. Okay, so before getting into it, I have to say I do not recommend anyone do this method and this was requested to me from one of the DGENs on Twitter and this is a hundred percent DGENY play. Do not ever do this for financial advice if you are looking to get to financial gain. I have much better videos on how to do that. If you are looking to gamble on the Doge chain, here's how to do it and find new Doji rug pull coins to do so on. So without further ado, let's go on into this section of the video. Literally, these Doge coins are pumping like crazy. And um, let's go see what exactly... Uh, the holders we could find some holders and see what they're investing in figure out how to find whale wallets and see like who's what are these people are buying Ooh. okay so we have So we could see exactly what this guy, who is a whale of Omnom, is actually buying. Let's see. W Doge. Yeah, so. Only has this wallet, which is interesting. But um, that's how you find and interact with wallets on the Doge chain. So we could go but down and even see like what these people are buying. Like what are these? I don't even know what these coins are. Vamp Doge. Like this is crazy what people are buying. There's a lot that you could find out. Like what are these names? There's so many rug pulls. These are all rug pulls back here. Oh my gosh. There's so many rug, rug pulls. Doge 5. Poge XXX Doge. <laughs> Master Doge. Dogezilla. Oh my gosh. These are crazy. But, um, go back to the main page. We can see that these, I, I don't even know how many of these are rugs or not, which is crazy. Oh my gosh. Like a million dollars in liquidity. 33,000% in an hour. Are you kidding me? Yo? Like, that's crazy. Like, who's aping into this at, at these levels? Okay, so. 
This is so weird. They only have... They just created this wallet and did that transaction, so... Wasn't really anything interesting. Trying to find some interactive wallets. But, I mean, like... Basically, that's how you would research it, is you find... Uh, when, like, Doge eats Doge, and you see what people are buying on Doge Explorer, and then, in theory, you would f ape into the new coins that they are aping into, or finding new coins, so it's, like, super weird, so you can see, like, Doge, Rap Doge, like, pretty sure that's a lot of Doge. And, uh, like, it's just interesting. Like, what even is this price action, yo? That's crazy. But, um, that's how you go over and find a new coin. I'm not encouraging you do this at all. But somebody on my Twitter requested it. So, yeah. So I hope this video f was beneficial to you. And if it was, please feel free to drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate it. I've been working really hard behind the scenes. I've been building like crazy. And thank you guys for all the support. It really does mean a lot to me. So subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more videos and more LLC crypto content. Thank you.